Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Ruby Juan Toscano. This is a card that everybody gets for free for completing one triple dot offline game. So for me, well, not triple dot offline game, but the equivalent. It's a 21-point game, inch skill challenges, NBA Mexico City challenge. Complete that, you'll get this JT Juan Toscano card for free. He used to go by Juan Toscano Anderson, must have changed his name. Uh, so I'm going to probably call him Juan Toscano Anderson, and I'll probably call him JTA multiple times in this video. I apologize, but it's a really interesting thing free card i don't think he's the best small forward in the game or anything along those lines but i think he's a pretty good card we'll have to see what his animations are looking like he's not a bad free option whatsoever though so before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 15,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons and tons of daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it let's take a look at jt so Juan Toscano is six foot six in small forward position so he's a little bit undersized but 90 offense 90 defense you're looking at 87 driving layup 79 midi 78 three ball at 95 driving dunk that's really really good ball handle rating is too lower than i would like it to be i'd like it to be an 81 because that would mean with a diamond shoe you could get to an 85 so you could time and burst unfortunately 79 means he's not gonna be able to time and burst unless he has takeover but 70 block 85 steel 83 perimeter 83 interior he's a versatile defender uh it's 86 speed next style is good 80 speed ball 87 lateral quickness not a bad looking card at all statistically badge wise nine golds nine silvers 13 bronze you got gold acrobat fast twitch fearless finisher giant slayer post or poker stick workhorse bunny and precision dunker Silver Arrow Wizard, Slithery Bailout, Break Starter, Challenger, Chase Stars, Pick Dodger, Scooper, and Physical Handles, and then Bronze Pro Touch, Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Slippery Off Ball, Needle Thudder, Clamps, Off Ball Pest, Post Lockdown, Rebound Chaser, Spin Cycle, Two Step, Big Driver, and Bulldozer. Overall, really really good cards across a really really solid all-around card badge wise not too insane stat wise looks super duper solid let's see what his release is looking like all of his animations that type of stuff as well uh just to check out what this card is going to look like in game um so want to scan a player build wise not amazing release is i mean meh i don't know this release doesn't seem amazing to me it's a little bit it's i feel like it's a tiny bit on the slower end but it is also very very smooth so uh definitely doesn't feel like it's gonna be hard to green it just doesn't feel like it's the fastest release in the game either so uh take that how you will at the small forward position though you should be fine i mean you can use guys like roko and jordan walsh still at a high level at the small forward position then those are emeralds this jta i mean number one he's freakishly athletic 95 driving dunk he's going to finish really really well around the round could use him as a screener uh, to create some mismatches and things like that in terms of the stick dunking and stuff that'll be really really good with how high his driving dunk rating is um it's an interesting fun card for sure to use because of the athletic ability and the fact that he can shoot the ball and that he's a pretty versatile defender he's not the best small forward in the game or even close um i'm not even sure he's top 10 at the position but in terms of a free small forward he's super athletic he's going to be decently fun to use and he's a decently usable option as well at the small forward position like for a free card who takes no time at all to you to get um he's a guy who can help out a lot of like no money spent teams salary cap squads things of that nature so with that being said let's hop into a game see what jt can do good board by jt we're pushing the ball in transition he's got what 86 speed you can see it he's kind of like almost beating wilt up the court not too bad at, at all in the speed aspect catch and shoot jt you stepped low with Dwayne wade and y'all know i'm making a pay catch and shoot three is a bucket first possession offensively of the game and jt makes himself a play let's go get under the screen here play swing over here rotate good defense wall up good swing out the corner jt get through the screen x switch here and click oh my gosh what a block by Giannis! also my game is feeling very fluid this morning not to jinx it but that is actually really really nice good move by jt dump down to bosh and easy oh got blocked out of bounds at the end of the possession good block by was that paul george or wilt who came from block i think it was wilt yeah okay that makes sense well Wilt's a great defender it's gonna happen we thought i thought we had an assist there but it turns out we did not quite at least but it is what it is uh burst back to the left let's go between the legs here see if we can okay push cross instead that's fine uh catch and shoot he's not guarding the push pop and i smoked it that time gosh dang it my bad bro my bad oh my god that was almost a steal too and we have a three tough ties up the game that's unfortunate um let's see what we can do though pick and pop here let's see what jt can do uh let's burst here attack downhill with j with john wall catch air or pop and let's pick and roll offense here let's take the screen because the way he's playing defense i think we can uh and this is actually really solid defensive possession so instead i'm just going to run around him and um try to what is going on right now? We have no offense going at all this possession. I got to give my opponent some credit, honestly. He played a really good defensive possession. I just got a bailout bucket at the end of it, fading with Paul George. But that was a great defensive possession to my opponent. Deserves credit. Oh, that's a stop, though. That's a steal for Giannis. I was playing that pass to Jaron, and Giannis has a seven foot wingspan, half interceptor, like seven foot, I don't know, seven foot what wingspan, but 
over seven foot wingspan with Hoff Interceptor and that player build. I thought he was going to play that. Unfortunately, did not quite play it, but that is okay. Uh, we're going to go pick and pop again with JTA. We're going to see if we can just attack the rim with Giannis here. Uh, catch again off the pop. He's just not giving up a lot right now. This is really solid defense, honestly. I got to give my opponent some credit. He's playing really, really well right now. Uh, same side burst. See if he can dump. I have nothing, and I shouldn't have thrown that pass either because I didn't have the spacing with Wilt down there as well. Good good defense, uh, Bosch. Not a steal, but that's okay. Uh, X-switch this so we have an actual big guarding Wilt. We'll swing out the corner as well. Uh, ro we all rotate, rotate. No rotation. I stink defensively. I gave up a wide up at three. And now we're down eight to five. We started off this game really well, but I got to give my opponent credit. Number one, he's playing really, really solidly. And number two, uh, we aren't making our shots yet, and I miss a wide open with John Wall too. Dang it. No steals either. Tough, tough, tough. Not going too good so far this game. Um, get through here. Contest uh, Paul George. Good D, John. Yep, good D, John. Good D. Okay. Need a good defensive possession out of you, JTI. This is your opportunity to make a big-time impact. Switch this. Contest. Watch the blow-by. Good defense. Good defense. Good defense. I got blown by at the very end of the possession. Damn. We're struggling to score as well. This is uh, frustrating. I'm not going to lie. Hit our pop. Yo, can I just get my pop open, bro? Just once. I mean, I j I've only gotten it open twice in this game. This first two possessions. Good assist. Down to Giannis. Slip gets open that time. The one miss is going to hurt me right now because we'd be at a tie game. This is just how some of these gameplays go, though. You're playing against a solid player who knows who figures out that you're trying to do a gameplay with a specific card, and they basically just won't give you anything with them. That's exactly how this dude's playing. He's refusing to give up the pop at all. He's playing very aggressively to stop JTA, uh, and I can't get back to with Giannis. I just can't move like I want to defensively. I don't know. Maybe it's me just trying to do too much, but I thought I could play high with Giannis there and get back and recover. And the answer was just, no, I could not. Uh, attack downhill again, catch and fade for some, bro. Why? Why is that the offensive strategy? Why, why are we, why are we fading? Like you, you have a wide open catch and shoot and he fades into a defender. I, I just do not get it. And we give up a dunk to Wilt and we just lost. Cool. All right, that's fun. Um, I do not enjoy doing gameplays against people who know that I'm doing a gameplay. I will say that because they will play defense very intentionally and it makes it very, very hard to do the gameplay. At times, again, he clicks on a Jaren there even to help down uh, off of the corner, but we do get a dunk anyway with JT. He's a very good dunker. Um, let's play low here. Guard up on, you're shooting an interesting shot with Wilt. I'm not gonna lie. If you hit that, you're just a dog. I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. Uh, push the ball up the court, John Wall back over here. Yet again, we're gonna go back to this uh, freaking uh, pick and roll with J or pick and pop with J bro. This dude is just he is AIDS. Yo, back up. Let me get my three ball off, please. I can't three hunt my with JT himself. He doesn't have a high enough ball handle rating to get the time burst, and his sigs aren't good enough to really try to create any sort of shot. So I just got the luckiest steal in the world. I'm not going to complain about it, but I definitely just, just did. And John Wall gets an and one for me. What a clutch play to tie up the game. John Wall, 27 seconds left, makes a gets a steal off of me jumping accidentally. I did not mean to jump, but I got a steal off of it. And then John Wall gets an and one in transition. What a play by John Wall to give us a tie game with 24 seconds left. And JT with seven points, two yards, one assist is in one-on-one -on -one coverage now against Paul George. Need him to play some defense here. Um, step up here, swing down, good defense. And I, I, what am I doing? I, that should have been a foul. I'm not going to lie. I'm jumping too much. I'm just doing a lot of things poorly this game, but good stop. Let's go. We wound up getting the stop regardless. My defense was poor this, that possession, but we still got the stop. And now it's up to JT to win us the game, plain and simple. Um, we're going to go pick and roll here with JT and we're going to slip the screen and uh, hopefully we're just going to throw it at his face and he's going to dunk the ball. That was the only strategy. I didn't care if I got a turnover there. I was going to throw it to JT and I was going to try to dunk the ball. And he just played super low with Glenn Robinson. Should have gone pick and pop. Didn't get him into the screen. It is what it is. Um, overtime. Here we go. I mean, JT has, what, seven points? Seven, two, and one, I think. Not a bad performance at all defensively. He's been fine, not incredible. He's a fine card. He's, you can use him at small forward. He will not be a liability at all, is my point. He's not the best small forward in the world, but he's a good free card who is not a liability at the position at all. I mean, he's been guarding Paul George this game, and he's given up. I think he gave up one bucket. So, like, he's played very, very well. Good defense. We were there with Giannis, too, even if he didn't get stripped there by Wade. Uh, and now we're going to push the ball. We're going to backdoor. And JT. Yo. Oh, oh no. My, no, 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 no. Thank you for making it. I was going to say, what in the world was that shot? Dunk the ball. But he still made it. Nine points, two rebound, one assist, four, six, one, two from three. Should have made the second three as well as wide open. But regardless, really solid performance. And I was impressed. He played really well against a great player with a very good team. So, tie back to the main menu. Let's view the card.
Honestly, I thought this Montescano card was fine. I don't think he's like amazing, but I thought he was fine on the court. He didn't feel like a liability at all on either end of the court. Was good offensively. The dunking is really useful. You send him on a backdoor cut, he's going to dunk the crap out of the ball. Use him as a screener, he's going to dunk the crap out of the ball. My opponent was a good player, and I think he recognized pretty early on that I was doing gameplay with Montescano too, which means he, in a lot of ways, tried to neutralize him. And yet, we still did a very, very good job of getting him involved on the offensive end of the court. Nine points, two rebounds, one assist. Very solid, efficient performance for Juan Toscano. And I definitely think he's a very, very solid free card in my team. So hopefully y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.